Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger, and I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. Yeah, I promised you um, I'd come back with this, and I have. Uh, I have uh, Pro Mods 2.0, which makes a huge part of the map uh, available installed. I have Jazzy Cat Trailer Mods, some Traffic Mods. I am having a minor issue with some frame hitching particularly at the beginning. I don't know why is that. It could be the mods causing it. It could be something else. I'm not 100% sure. I'm basically going to be trying to weed it out over the period of playing, but I'm not sure what else to do. It also might part have been that the test run I did was on a was on the 32-bit version of the game, so it was not making use of all of my memory. Um, possible, I don't know. So, we're already on a, a, our job here. We're going to be driving this Scania. Uh, and it's 10 tons of office supplies. So hopefully this doesn't hitch. Uh, here we go. Hopefully. No. No. This is where some of the problem was, was in looking around. I want to um, back my chair up couple ticks and we're good so I'm also not sure what the sounds gonna be right now I didn't have time to test that and considering it's four o'clock in the morning I'm not really going to have time to test it so this is really gonna be flyby I'm gonna have to see where the sound sits and um, play it by ear from there. See if the sound's too soft or uh, too loud. Well, well, you know, we'll take it step by step. I don't know, am I in a Scania Scania or, I, or am I in a streamline? I don't know. Hey, we discovered a dealership. Yeah, sure, just uh, up on the sidewalk there. Why not? And in this game, it's much, much easier to go over the speed limit. Now, I have every intention of, um only using an in-game truck but I, it may be possible for me to get the Freightliner Argosy and if I can get the Freightliner Argosy uh, then I am going to get the Freightliner Argosy and I'm going to use that truck over in-game but I'm gonna wait till I have to buy a truck to mod it in I'm not gonna worry about it till then I really have missed this, I'm going to be honest with you, as compared to American Truck Simulator. Nothing against American Trucks or whatnot. This is what I'm going to talk about, I believe I've talked about before, and it's really just a personal feeling, okay? That's all it is, is a personal feeling. I may have to turn the graphics down a bit more, but I can't do that now. I'll have to turn the, gra uh, the grass down to low. I have it on high, which I should have known better. Turning it down to low actually makes a difference. I may have to make a few other adjustments as well, which is fine. Like I said, well, this is really fly-by-wire. I didn't record the last video. It was one of the major issues as well. So, kind of strange, really. I was running at 35, 40 frames a second. Now I'm running, like, under. I just don't get how can do that. I've got SLI'd 660s. They should be killing this. It's, it's, gotta, it's just got to be something with the recording is all. Do I go this way? Yeah, I go this way. It's got to be something with recording. 
because when not recording, I, I, I destroy this in frame rate. And I don't have the frames limited. I have it set to unlimited frames. So maybe the discs, maybe the disc speed. I don't know. Anyways, what was I going to talk about? I, I have a big fascination with Europe. And I have a big fascination, particularly with England. But I really do. I have this huge, massive fascination with Europe. And it extends to the trucks. I've always loved trucks, and I always loved American trucks. But my favorite American trucks are cabovers, the Kenworth K100, the Freightliner Argosy. These are my favorite trucks. American trucks are mostly nosed. And I, I, I don't mind the, the more classic uh, look of American trucks, like the W900, the Kenworth, I believe, the W900. But something like like the newer ones, the 600 one, I, I don't like them. I don't like the look of them. I always have and always will prefer cab overs. And Euro trucks are almost universally, almost universally cab overs. And to me, that makes a big difference, you know? I've always had a fascination with Europe. I've always... I thought he was pulling out. I've always, I always want to go to Europe. And, you know, someday I just might, after I move to the mainland and get settled, if I can save up enough money somehow, I just might take a trip to England with my friend Riddy and just hang out with him for a week or so if I can and just have him show me the sights. I'd love to do that. I hate flying but I'd fly for that. And as long as my mom was okay and still around then I'd go because she could take care of my dogs. Um, break just a little bit and let it coast for this corner and I, I I'd only trust my mother with my dogs that's if she'd take care of them you know she's older and her health's not very good but something I want to talk about now before I get too far, um, I, I want to talk about Europe and trucks more, but I feel like this is more important. Um, I have not been doing very well lately. I just... We are going this way, whether you want to or not. <laughs> oh, I didn't have to. I did that for no... I thought I'd have to exit up here. And no. Jerk game is jerk, making me be a jerk. But uh, I, I'm not doing well in my mental health. Uh, heavy amounts of loneliness are setting in on me. Really really hard and despite having Riddy to talk to occasionally uh, I don't really talk to anyone else and I'm, I'm pretty sure I've gone over this before I'm, I'm very silent a lot I don't say a lot um, the most talking I do is either recording a video or talking to my dogs basically and it sucks royally and I have been going through random, very heavy bouts of depression because of it. Uh, twice now, in the past two days, yesterday and today, I have broken down into really, really heavy fits of crying. Uh, just all out bawling, tears rolling down my face, unabated, unrestrained. Unfortunately, um, nobody was home. The neighbors probably heard, but 
nobody here heard, which I would be very embarrassed about if they did. Um, so, yeah. That, I, that's just not well. I'm, I'm really struggling to make sure that I maintain some kind of eating uh, regiment that I don't eat too much. I've gone really hard into doing that and I'm taking steps towards making sure I try and save money now because I really need to and all kinds of little things that I'm really 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 trying extremely extraordinarily hard. Yep, yeah, there's see there's the frame rate hitch I was talking about. Hopefully that doesn't fuck up uh, the recording too much because something like that can cause the sound to become desynced with the recording but there's not much I can do about it I don't have a monster computer I'd like one but I don't have one um, but yeah the severe depressions and the, the bouts of crying and trying to get myself back on track um, I've got to do what really needs to be done and that in, that now includes um, uh, seeing a behavioral specialist, possibly getting medication, and trying to do something about this depression. Because if I don't, um, I don't know what's going to happen. Things could go really, really bad for me really, really quickly. Very long trailer. I just might want to keep it on the tar. So, yeah, I'm having a real hard time. Today, I was online on Second Life with a friend, a friend who I'm usually very close with and very, very uh, good with, and I started suffering uh, my depression bout, and they started getting really worried. Um, they're fairly emotional as well, but usually not bad. And, um, um, trying to think here. Well, I said something about being lonely and that I've been without my wife for almost a year now. It, it's closing in on a year, all right? Next month is May, the month after that is June, and 12 days into June will be one year. Um, as a matter of fact, June 12th, between two, not more frame hitching, but not terrible. Uh, June 12th, between 2 and 6 a.m. Actually, I could technically say at 2 a.m. Because that's when I went to sleep. She came to sleep with me when I woke up. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. I haven't missed that, let me tell you. Thank, thank you, TV, for letting me know you're going to turn off. So, anyways, I said that, and they said, oh, well, you know, I understand about being lonely, you know. I had somebody in my life, and then they just, you know, they, they left, and then I went without someone for four years. And I know they meant well, but my frame of mind at that point really didn't allow for that so I actually started getting angry and I mean 
angry. Hey. Uh, I didn't yell at them, I didn't snap at them, but I said, no, don't even do that. Don't even do that. And they're like, Wes, don't even say things like that. You don't understand. You do not understand. Unless you permanently lose somebody who's close to you, unless somebody that's really, really close to you dies, a parent, possibly a grandparent that you're exceptionally close to, maybe one of those people that were raised by your grandparents, um, another family member, a sibling, um, a child, something of that nature, unless something like that happens to you and hope it doesn't. I mean, we all go at some point, but hopefully not early. Um, yeah. Sorry, this is hard for me to talk about. But unless something like that happens to you, you don't understand. You just don't. And telling someone who's lost somebody, I understand. It's actually a really bad thing because you don't know. You don't. Okay? Being with someone for a while and then having them leave you is not the same as being with somebody for 15 years and then suddenly they're not there anymore. You don't have them anymore. Okay? Sorry not the same right. another friend of mine has, talks about he may understand the they may understand the loneliness a little bit but they don't understand the extra nuances behind it and there is a severe nuance behind it okay and the other part of that nuance is that they're permanently gone they're not coming back. You can't see him again. Um, a friend of mine, uh, he honestly got screwed over by his wife. And they ended up getting divorced. I think it was his wife. It may have been a, a longtime girlfriend. But anyways, they ended up not together anymore. But he still occasionally sees her. still occasionally talks to her. Uh, his online mate screwed him over as well. But he still talks to her on a regular basis and actually uh, buys lindens from her because apparently she runs a shop. So she sells him, you know, he sends her real money and she sends him in game currency. Don't ask. If you if you, if you got to ask that, man, you, then you just don't understand gaming. Uh, even if it's just something like Second Life and being social. But I'm not going to go there any more than that. So... It's not the same, and you don't understand the floating towers of... Okay, we'll, we'll just give that up to ProMod's graphical glitch. That's all. Not going to worry about it. But yeah, you know... I didn't understand how my mother-in-law felt when she lost her husband. I didn't. Now I do. Now I do the emptiness, the loneliness. I would come out sometimes at night to go to the bathroom, could tell she had been crying. And this was months and even years after uh, he had passed away. And I was like, well, it's been years. Hasn't she gotten better? Aren't they? No, no, no. Things get easier to deal with, and maybe you don't suffer as often, but you still suffer. Things still do come up. Things still happen. Um, now, I've only been a year, but I can understand it. An errant thought, a song, a smell, uh, looking at something in particular... These can all cause um, relapses into pain and depression about losing someone close to you. 
and it's really, 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 really fucking hard to deal with. And with me having that, plus having to deal with being alone in my own head and in my own thoughts, I'm starting to really revert back to uh, high stress, high depression, panic attacks, and all sorts of fun things like this. Yay. Oh, okay. Well, it's not terrible. Could, could have been worse. I'll just enjoy the fact that it could have been worse. Now, see, this game is running so much smoother right now. Even with the graphical hitches I'm getting every so often, even with the slightly lower frame rate earlier on, um, it's still running so much better right now. I'm getting much better frame rate, much smoother running, there's more maps, there's more trucks. American Truck Simulator will get there eventually, but for now, I'm going to stick with Euro Truck. I like the, like I said before, I like the European trucks anyways. So yeah, I just, I don't know where I'm going to go with all this. I, I, I just... It's going to be hard to deal with, to say the least. You know? It's just going to be real hard to deal with. No cars coming at me, no cars in front of me. High beams. Yeah, the hitching's not as bad as it was when I first played. So bumping up to the 64 bit uh, helped, at least. It helped, at least. My voice just kind of died out there, but yeah, it helped, at least. So that's something. <sighs> Not bad. I'm almost there already. I've come close to running out of things to talk about. Uh, I don't know, man. I hope I make it to May 13th. I have been so stressed out, so upset, so depressed. Oops. Oof, that was bad. Kind of glad I wasn't talking at that moment. Because that would hopefully at least keep my voice synced up. But there's not a lot I could do about that. That's probably a mod issue. I'm surprised I got everything up and running as easily as I did. Just to be straight with you. Beyond oh, my first speeding offense. <laughs> it's alright. Alright. I am actually going to go this way. Because that's another dealership. For now. And then we'll also pass by the recruitment agency. See if I can avoid getting another ticket. Yeah. Be nice. I don't know. Can you right turn on red Europe? Nope. Well, I had to try. I had to try.
And it's okay, that cannot. And unlike American Truck, and this is one feature I wish they would bring over uh, from American Truck into Euro Truck, is the where do you want it option. Where you pull in and ask them, where do you want it? And you can choose either easy, difficult, you know. No, nope. now you get you you park it in just a basic straight parking area. So, oh well, beggars can't be choosers. Hang on there, Geronimo. I need the road. Mighty long trailer. Oops. <laughs> Turn the wrong way. Also shifting gears the wrong way. Good. Satisfactory. Well, yeah, I bumped the trailer a couple times, so that's all right. We we still made a bit of a profit, so we're all good. And we'll take our high value cargo. So let's see what we're gonna take next. Again, we can only do quick jobs. <sighs> it, 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 I get scared when it walks up, but it's got to read the mods as why. Well. So it looks like we might be taking 15 tons of milk in uh i don't know well, i don't know if i want to I, w I don't mind driving the renault premium i just don't want to take this right now from paris to wherever that is hauling timbers and a ba uh, basic mercedes actress that's not bad that's 10,013. It's almost the same. Just because I don't have to do this crossing. I think I'll do this one instead of this one. So we're just going to take the job. And then we'll let it load and then quit from there. Okay. Alright folks. So... It's my first episode of Return to Euro Truck. I hope you've been uh, enjoying watching this as much as I've been enjoying bringing it to you. Until next time, folks, this is going to be one.